Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2018 video. Today is another little jaunt on the London Aylesbury route. Um, this is kind of a little bit on the edge of it. This is the on the way to Princess Risborough. So nasty weather this morning, isn't it? No, because I changed it. Uh, I did actually edit the weather on the snow. I didn't really want to do a rainy one. I can't drive this thing for toffee anyway. Um, nonetheless, we have a service to run today to Papa 1-6. Being worked by Chilton's Historic Class 121 Bubble Car number 55034. You'll be making the regular trip from Aylesbury to Princess Risborough with stops at Little Kimball and Monks Risborough. Good luck. And be gentle with this former museum piece. Open the doors to let the guard out of the train. Guard out. Change to the B end. Alright, fine. I always find it a bit funny when you've got to do that scenario. Why don't we just start the scenario at that end? So just a uh, little addition to those that complained about me complaining about the the livery on the last one. This is the the different, the newer version, and even this one, the textures are dire. Let's be honest. So the reason my the older one looked so bad was because I was running it in a, a quality setting that was too low for it. I will give them that. Uh, I turned the quality up and it was still pretty abysmal. So, no. Contrary to that, and on the complete flip side of that, this thing is done very, very nicely. So let's just look at the slight difference between this and this. This looks like somebody's been out waxing it and polishing it. Can you see that? The definition between the colours on the striping and everything is awful. Uh, the lettering is awful. The line, somebody said that my line doesn't have a split in it. The livery has a light split in the red line, so uh, it should be there. You can see how it's not very crisp. It's very dated. It's very, very dated. Even if we look at the Chilton liveries here, it's very, very dated. Whereas if we have a look at the blue one and look at the numbering, Right way driver, the, the lining on the on the unit, let me just pause this while we're out here. Um, and we'll take a look at this. Let's just look at the logo, right? So this is a, a different font, but it's it's still not super duper crisp, but it is better than is on that. So this has obviously been reskinned by someone who has looked at Train Sim in the last couple of years. Because this it, it isn't really on, is it? It's not really on. The bleed between textures and things is, is pretty awful. It just looks a bit sloppy. And that's a real shame because actually the rest of it, and can you see how shiny it is? It might not show up too well in the video. It does on the front ends. It's the shininess of it. Anyway. I'm not continuing on moaning, because I'll give you all something else to moan about. This, of course, is the DTG121. Um, the reskins that were released with this uh, don't actually work with the AP pack until today. Uh, Ash Clark and James Ivor have trained some designs have been working furiously to make sure that the AP pack works with this, and they now do. So you can go and get that right now on Train Some Designs website. It's linked in the description below. The only thing you will have to do is swap out the stock in your standard scenarios for the AP enhanced versions. Um, you can't just install the pack and then it works. It, it makes this all clear in the in the readme. So it's a bit of a faff. Also, the way the reskins were put in this, they, they weren't just in the DTG um, 121 Pack 03 or whatever. Someone's created their own folder for the reskin, like their own asset folder. Just find it weird. BRW50 something or other. Not what that's about. Just a bit much, if I'm honest. Just a bit much. Right, let's get back to do. Oh, yeah. Caveat on this. I have the manual open. I am rubbish at driving first-gen DMUs. Um, I will forget to put it in to fourth gear when I'm coasting. I will forget to come off the power before I change the gear. I know there are going to be people out there going, but it's simple, it's easy. I just don't drive them enough to get practice with them. This is kind of practice for me because... I didn't even own the 121 until this morning. So, I'm going to get it done. going to have a play with it. You're going to join me. We'll have a little look at this branch and see what it's like. 
Hockey. So yeah, you can comment on my bad driving all you like. I'm not really fussed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not. I don't care. I do care, but it'll be more humour for you than probably <laughs> entertainment at least. I hope it to be entertaining anyway. Right, we've got the road anyway, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did, we did, we did. Instrument lights in this. Don't know. Okay. So let's get it into forward. And then into gear. Break off a bit of power. Oh no, I've got to actually put it, because it's the AP one, into first. It's right round. So yeah. Not brilliant with it. Not proficient, should I say. I always admire people that can drive these 101s and like the first gen mechanical multiple units because to me they're more difficult than say a 31, which I did have a drive of the other day. Um that was relatively simple. There's a skill to it, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's unskilled. It's definitely, definitely a skill to that sort of thing. But, um... The first-gen DMUs, with the gearing and getting it right, I think once you've got the knack of it, it's like driving a car, I suppose, isn't it? We get to change up. I need to go off. One, two, three, four. Hit to gear. One, two. And then back onto it. Still get there. So hopefully we will get to fourth because there's enough coast in fourth and forty. It might work out a little bit better for us. Right, what are we looking at? Probably should have done this in sort of summer. It's looking a little bit bare, isn't it? That's all right. Roots look bare at times. to go down too many years. Nice and forth. Fast, bit fast. Uh, route wise, yeah, mm, looks alright. Not complaining at all about the rest of it, actually. I've really quite enjoyed this route. Oh, crossing, crossing, crossing. How does braking work in this thing? Do I brake in forward or when do I put it into neutral?
So this needs to be gear two now. The handling in the manual for the uh, 121 pack give you a little uh, a little chart. So speed ranges. So when power is required after coasting and your speed is below 41 miles per hour, the correct gear must be selected according to your speed before applying power. Please see the table below for more information. So 0 to 15 is first, 15 to 27 is second, 27 to 41 is third, and 41 to 70 is fourth. Oh, my light's not even on there. Okay. So you could have stayed at 20 there, but I'd have hit that crossing way before those barriers were down that light was on. I think I actually saw one of these on the Neem Valley on Monday. Well, it's quite satisfying, isn't it? Oh. See, now, because they've turned the... Obviously, you had to swap ends for whatever reason. We now have a backwards passenger view as well. I was really looking forward to sitting and looking out the window, really. I'm not moving about in this one either, is there? No. So you want me up there, but then when I come down... It's still in down there, even though I'm speeding. I don't get this thing sometimes. Do you guys drive this? Is it, is it like one that you guys quite enjoy driving, or do you try and avoid it? I know there are people out there that just drive first gen stuff. Quite cool, aren't they? One, two, ones. I did want to go and see like the, the last run with them. I just didn't get a chance. I know quite a few people that are on, uh, especially on the YouTube channel, uh, went to see them. I, there was a lot of people messaged me when it was the last couple of days saying, oh, are you coming down? Have you seen them? I don't know what runs on it now, either, to be fair. Don't mean to 
do that fully. Little Kimball. I mean, think it was I think it was Kev that said Just Trades have made a new van. They definitely have. It's everywhere, but I like it. I'm quite pleased with it. Something didn't go quite right here. Let's try that. Try it again at Monks Risborough where you're doing at zero seven fifty nine. Is that because I was late or what? Well, mate. Do you feel this is a train that I could do with the FIV being back just a touch for? Yeah, that brings me on to something else. So quite a lot of people say to me, oh, do you know you can change your FIV and things like that? And I love those sort of comments. I did for a long while have... Oh, I'm in second. Uh, for a long time, I did have my FIV set very differently. Uh, I think I spoke about this in the last video as well. But because I drive so many different trains some trains it works really well for and some it doesn't I don't have enough, I don't spend enough time down with, uh, I've never spent enough time with first gen stuff really to know what they sound like too much. You get the gist of it on videos and things. A helicopter or something big going over, the whole shed's shaking. Yeah, stranger than quite well. it's satisfying to drive when you can kind of do it. <clears throat> I think I've got quite a few comments after my 101 video. <laughs> People go, what are you doing? Like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Oh, it seems something went wrong. Let's try again at Princess Risborough. We are unit 804. Try to bring the unit under the canopy to protect the passengers from the rain. It isn't here because I changed the rain. And this should be in a green livery. I'll change it to the blue. All right. So I want to... Let me try and get this right. Shifty all the way up. Bit power, break off. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get used to on this. I'd like to do it somewhere where I've got to stretch his legs a little bit more. I think there is a run, quite a long run in it as well. I think the thing for me with things, this could just be this, the weather setting as well, but things aren't very well blended. Like if I looked at this from a top down. You can see it's sort of. It's quite uniform, these 2D ones like that. And I think probably in the summer there's more bits around them, isn't there? So therefore it doesn't look like that. So I don't take that as this. I'm guessing it's to do with the the season more than anything. Oh. I think quite like the brakes in this old vacuum brakes. Oh, 68. Watch it and set. That was a bit close. No, that was quite good actually. I like that. Good stop. Right, let me try and get a nice screeny of this. least with the driver in let's change those headlights around. Uh, 
I didn't even see what that said there. You need to check the rules or something. They're cheeky of you. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. That was a nice scenario. No, no. Was it a nice scenario? I think it's a bit bonky, if I'm honest with you. I don't quite get what's going on with it. Uh, it was a nice enough run, but the train's the wrong way round. It's nice to see the 68. I don't know what all these boxes are about. Was I meant to be being... Was I have a driver manager with me or some, some, something? Did I miss something? I'm going to click that, it's going to go away. But, um... Yeah, the route was nice. Nice little run. one to one form's lovely, and Chris, uh, Train Sim Designs pack seems to work wonders with it. So, I will say my goodbyes now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that little notification bell as well if you want to be one of the first to hear about it when the videos do go up. No DVT either. Um, that isn't included, though, is it? You had to have the Mark III pack. Da, 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 da. Uh, head on over to Facebook and Twitch. Uh, Facebook is Alan Thompson Sim, and Twitch is Alan Thompson... Uh, Facebook is Alan Thompson Simulation, and Twitch is Alan Thompson Sim. Live streams are Sunday night from 7 o'clock onwards and Wednesday night from 7 o'clock onwards. Do come over and have a laugh if you do want to and I will catch you next time. So once again, guys, thanks ever so much and goodbye.